Welcome to Event Styles LLC, where we bring the style to your events. So today's video will be part one of a two-part video, where today I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful tiki bar using Dollar Tree, Walmart, and Amazon products for less than $75. And in part two, I'm going to show you how I created this treat table from the same companies, Dollar Tree, Walmart, and Amazon for also less than $75. Full disclaimer, I did not have my tripod while I recorded. It was very hard for me to complete the steps and hold the camera in my hand. So you're not you're not gonna actually see me complete the steps. It's more so a progression video. I'll tell you what I did, but you won't actually see me complete the steps. So here's a full list of the materials that I used to create the tiki bar. Feel free to take a screenshot. It'll also be listed in the description box below. To start off, I'm going to take this six foot table from Walmart and two large cardboard boxes also from Walmart on the size of 22 inches by 18 inches. I'm going to open up only one of them and then I'm just going to cut on the seams like so. These panels are actually going to be supporting pieces for my larger cardboard box, which will make more sense later. Using my Scotch shipping tape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my larger cardboard box that I didn't cut up waterproof. To do that, I'm going to completely surround it with tape and also the little supporting panels from earlier that I cut up. I'm going to make those waterproof as well by wrapping them completely with tape. I went ahead and I put them in place to where I wanted them to be. This is going to be supporting the larger cardboard in case that the cardboard has wants to fold over it has those little panels in place kind of holding it in place and all i did was tape the little panels to the cardboard box with the same shipping tape to build the roof of the tiki bar i'm going to go in with my dollar tree luau skirts for the bottom half i'm going to use six adult luau skirts which were 32 inches by 30 inches. And for the top half, I'm gonna use eight children luau skirts, which were a little bit smaller and thinner as well. I don't have the exact me measurements on the top of my head, but I will include it somewhere on the screen. Next, I just placed the adult skirt onto the cardboard. It's kind of hard to see, but that's actually shipping tape at the top of the skirt. It held it in the place. And at the bottom, I'm just gonna take some glue gun and I'm going to secure you know, the flyaways with my glue stick. This is a children's skirt. It's a lot smaller. And if you see, it's thinner too. So what I ended up doing is actually folding it in half to get the same level of fullness that the adult skirt had. And this is how it came out. Using my glue gun and glue sticks, this is where I'm going to glue the skirts down just to help reduce the risk of, e of everything flying around in the wind. So now it's time to set up everything for the party. This is how I arranged the tables. To actually get the tables ready, I'm going to use this Hawaiian party supply set that I got from Amazon. It comes with 30 flowers, some Velcro tape, and also two luau skirts. I ended up getting two sets. Using my Velcro tape, I'm going to cut it up with some scissors to get more use out of it. And then I'm going to use it to connect my skirt to the tablecloth. And this is how it looked. So now I'm going to build the supporting system for the roof. I'm going to use these PCV pipes that I have from my balloon columns. And I'm going to set them up where I think there needs to be, you know, supporting measures to connect the PCV pipe to the table. I'm actually going to use my Velcro. I'm going to place it where I think it should be, remove the little paper pieces and then just stick it into place as you can see. And then I'm going to connect as much as I needed to make it tall enough. For the back pieces, I did go ahead and get the little base that came with my balloon column to hold the end pieces and in the middle, if you can see, it's connected with the Velcro, Velcro tape, just like the front pieces were. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, 
the PCV pipes ended up not being anywhere near strong enough to hold up the cardboard. So I just went up, went in with these background stands that I already had and I built a cage with that. And the PCV pipes ended up going in the back of my treat table, which will be included in part two of this video. So stay tuned. Next, I just took my table skirt and I wrapped it around my backdrop stand. For the leg pieces that are sticking out of the skirt, what I'm gonna do is take my signs from Dollar Tree and I'm going to tape them over the legs. To further cover up my stand, I just used these lays that I got from Dollar Tree. I wrapped them around the pole, and then I just held them in place with some scotch tape. I bought the two pack lays from Dollar Tree and I ended up using eight of those. So in total, I had about 16 that I used to fully cover up the stands. For the back stands, all I did was take the leaves from the party set from before, I stacked them on top of each other, and then I just taped the back with the shipping tape. Off camera, I did go ahead and place the roof on top of the stands, and now I'm gonna show you how I secured them into place. For the back, I ended up just poking little holes into the cardboard box with a screwdriver. From there, I just secured it into place with zip ties. For the front, at the top of my stand, there's actually a screw that's built in. So what I did was make a hole in the cardboard that was big enough to go around the screw. And then I just placed the cardboard down to where the screw will be in the middle of the hole. From there, what I did was I used the washer and the screw that comes with the backdrop and I further secured it by putting the washer and then screwing in the screw. If you don't have backdrop stands, check out the description box below. I'm going to insert some links for some alternatives to build a support system for the roof. And just like that, the Tiki bar is complete. Special shout out to Mimi and Max for assisting me in building this. We ended up using this as a DJ booth. If you're curious to know how I created the decorated tree table on the right, be sure to check out part two coming soon. If you would like to stay connected with us, be sure to follow us on Pinterest and Facebook at Event Styles LLC. You can also check us out at www.eventstylesllc.com.